just feels relentless, like it'll never stop. I'm very smooth. It feels like it's soaked into your bones. Your gear is damp. The air sucks away all the warmth and replaces it with a wet cold. This is one of those trips. This is the story till now. All right, we have just arrived at the trailhead. Got all air down, and we're gonna make our way over a mountain pass, camp at a lake tonight, and then we're gonna continue on over another pass, do a big loop, and end up in a completely different part of Canada. Canada. <laughs> what? Well, I was told there's gonna be cake. Uh, you were lied to, <laughs> but we do have cookies. Our trip this week is taking us deep into the mountains of British Columbia, but with heavy rain in the forecast and cold temperatures, things are gonna get interesting and very, very wet. So uh, snorkel works? <laughs> snorkel work? <laughs> Engine's running. Not a bad spot, right? Not a bad spot. Look, which craft is this? Like, what is happening? What the seriously is happening? This thing is crazy hot. There's nothing but wet wood out here, so we've been struggling yeah, to get a fire going. Justin has been doing uh, an excellent job here. of actually making stuff burn. Well, until now. Still an uphill battle, man. Still an uphill battle. That's why we're still uh, sitting around the howl here until we can get a proper fire going. But this thing's so hot. It's howling. They do it, so it's like the top of the table. Though. It's honestly just super unpleasant here. And uh, as much as I'd like to film a bunch of stuff at camp, getting ready and packing up and whatnot, I uh, I just want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to leave. Let's go. Let's uh, we're going to carry on weather. on that journey. Get out of the bad weather. <laughs> try, try to get out of the bad I weather. Think it's be I don't think so. We're in for a wet one. If you want to see water, we've picked the right weekend. Another typical Saturday, eh, Justin? Yes. Yep. Uh-huh. Damn, these freaking rivers are so cool. I guess you don't have a whole lot of rivers in Utah, eh? I mean, nothing like this. If there's one good thing about the amount of rain we get in this province, it's how beautiful it makes the scenery when the water really starts flowing. So we're driving along and my truck started making a terrible screeching sound. Christian thinks there's a rock stuck behind a, uh, a heat shield or what's it? Is it heat shield? Dust shield. Dust shield. I'm going to try and pry it out. Got a hammock? Mm, hammock's not going to do it either. Seasoning? So the seasoning will help Maybe. Anything. Rub any. That might do it. Is that the 
key to my heart? Nope. Still Traffic locked. <laughs> With the noise, those are your two options. Maybe it might drive to come out. It might. Is it gonna wreck anything? I don't know. Well, it's like you lowered up the stretch and see if it comes out. You could, yes. I still hear it. Do you still hear it? No, that's, that can't be So it. the method of drive fast, maybe it'll stop, didn't work. Oh, he's got he's a... He's his taillights. His reverse light. Is he smiling? I think he gave us a thumbs up. Maybe drive fast, hit brakes, worked. <laughs> Perfect, here's a rock. All right, here's your audience. Casey was headed out here to find us and we just heard him on the radio, so we've stopped on the trail, wait for him to catch up. Imagine that. Hey, found you. In the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah. you made it. I also felt like it was the other way. What's that? You're probably right. You're probably right. You're walking through a uh, shopping mall. The trail here's getting very tight. Not your satellite message came through. Very quick. Casey just got my satellite message. Last time we stopped here, there was so much snow that we had to winch going downhill. Not the case this time, and the lake was a beautiful green color. All right, we made it. Look at this lake, guys. Crazy. This is the same lake that was frozen over that I crashed my drone on. And Teddy walked out into the middle and got it for me, like the second time I ever met Teddy. Oh, it's here. I was, you brought one? But now I can, that's kind of funny. I Quiet, I'm trying to take a shot here. <laughs> Quiet on the tea box. Quiet on the tea box. Four. <laughs> you almost hit yourself with that. That hurts. Camp Cheese Puff. No, wait, what was my password? Moose? Moose, moose knuckle. Nipple. nipple. Moose nipple. Moose nipple. Camp moose ni nipple. I can't believe you're showing me camp moose nipple for the first time, man. Shotgun shell. Yep. Not the water. How you know it was a wet camp night? The tent's still wet. Yeah. Huh? In addition to water getting into everything else, the roof of my camper sprung a leak where I run my solar cables through, and for a second night, making any wood burn was almost impossible.
morning, guys. Beautiful morning here at the lake. The snow line has come down a little bit. Not that much higher than us. It is definitely crispy out here. I absolutely love this spot, despite the fact that it's crashed. Now, my drone and Casey's drone, which he just crashed. There's something weird about this lake, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Come on. The people want to know. No, How do you feel about no, it? I'm, I'm, not, I'm out of the drone game. Okay, but here's, here's the interesting thing. This lake has now taken two drones. Dude. Do you think there's like some kind of magnetic stuff going on under the lake? I, I we... don't not think you're true. <laughs> <laughs> English speak, I know how. <laughs> yeah, don't. How goes life up there? Toasty. Toasty? So toasty. Finally got your diesel heater working. Finally, man. It's, it was on my brain. Nice. Paul and Christian left super early. They had to get back. It's so me and Casey and Justin. We're going to try and make it to the ocean. It's going to be a good day, I think. Might even hit some snow with how low that snow line is. Looks like we're out of the rain today. The story of this trip so far has just been terrible weather. It's been a bit miserable. I've been a bit lazy to film very much just because it's unpleasant being out of the truck. So I'm gonna try and do better today. See if we can jumpstart this adventure and uh, have a little bit of fun. All right, we've moved on to another trail. We're gonna try and get high up over the mountain and down to the ocean to camp tonight. Vlogging? I'm vlogging. KC250 is with me. Justin B. McBride is with me. It is super wet out here. It's super fun too. Wouldn't mind grabbing another water across. The rain was just relentless, and being one of the shortest daylight times of the year right now, it was already getting dark by mid afternoon. Yeah, looking at the radar map, it's just another yellow band rolling in. Goody. Yeah, the weather usually moves west to east. Oh good, it's raining. I was beginning to wonder if we were still in Canada. Now you know. And as the downpour got more intense, the road started flooding.
after a long and very wet drive, we were getting close to camp. Made it to the ocean, but uh, that's the ocean. This is, uh, the water. this is like being on the ocean right now with all this rain and wind. Yeah. Holy moly. Like, I mean, I was thinking we could pop. Nah, I probably don't even want to put my awning out in this wind. It's been a wet journey in here. And we made it to where we wanted to make it, but the weather sucks for camping here, unfortunately. Here go, I got you covered while you vlog. Oh, hey, <laughs> it stopped raining. <laughs> We briefly considered finding a spot with more shelter, but ultimately decided just to set up here, as it was the best spot within close range. Yeah. Alright, we've got shelter. Now we need fire. Be a little more dry. <laughs> the Howl campfire has been the real MVP of this trip, providing incredible heat when otherwise getting a campfire going was almost impossible in these conditions. I think it's going to come in really handy in our upcoming snow season. A little wet? This is uh, one for the books for sure. <laughs> as far as wetness goes, right? Yeah, but you know, it's all about conquering British Columbia. Yeah. I've heard it said that British Columbia is moist. Might be an understatement. Finally, have woken to a beautiful morning. Made it to the ocean. Pretty spectacular view this morning. It feels so good to be out of the rain. All right, guys, we gotta make our way back over this mountain pass. We're gonna see what it looks like in the daylight now. Should be fun. By the way, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, around 60% of people who watch the channel are not subscribed, according to YouTube. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. My dream is to get this channel to 1 million subscribers by the end of 2025. Appreciate you helping me reach my goal. Let's go do this trail. I can't express enough how happy we all were that the rain had let up. The roads, however, were still pretty flooded from the night before.
little bit of light breaking through the morning clouds, we made our way out through the river valley. This trip was a good reminder that rougher conditions are on the way as we get into winter, and it's time to prepare for what's to come.